Hi guys, I'm Kimberly, if you're new to me, and today is day five of short and sweet practices for stress and anxiety. And I'm going to start with a quote. It's by Susan McHenry. She says, work when there is work to do. Rest when you are tired. One thing done in peace will most likely be better than 10 things done in panic. I am not a hero if I deny rest. I am only tired. I'll read that again. Work when there is work to do. Rest when you are tired. One thing done in peace will most likely be better than 10 things done in panic. I am not a hero if I deny rest. I am only tired. So today's practice is about resting. We'll do a restorative practice. I'm going to recommend having a few things. If you have a strap, have a strap, preferably that buckles. If you don't have a strap, don't worry about it. I like having two blocks. If you don't have two blocks, you might find two big books. If you don't have big books, two, uh, two big pillows will do, will do the job. And I have a bolster. If you don't have a bolster, I have a big, dense pillow and a couple of blankets. I think more is more. So if you have a big old stack of blankets or a big old stack of fluffy towels, uh, that's gonna work great. We'll start with some joint freeing movement and centering. And as we move through our practice together, if the mind gets really active, I will offer some tools to focus the mind a little bit. So I'm going to move my props to the side and let's get started. Find a nice tall seat, please. Any seat will do. Close your eyes. Hands might be on the knees or your lap. Palms can turn open and Gyana Mudra. Or the palms might turn down if you're feeling a bit ungrounded. Feel safe and comfortable. Close your eyes from top to bottom. And bring your attention to your breath. Without trying to change it or manipulate it. Just observing it as if it was your child, curiously, lovingly. Let's begin to deepen the breath a bit, finding a smooth inhale. Nice long exhale. A smooth inhale, inviting a little pause at the top and a nice long exhale. A pause at the bottom. And let's take three more breaths, just like that. Bringing palms either together or to stack at your heart. And calling to mind your sankalpa. Now at its truth, your sankalpa is your deepest heart's desire. Repeating it to yourself three times in the present tense. I am bad or we are bad. And 
Let's sing a soft OM sound together. First, a breath, take a nice inhale. And let it go. <sighs> inhale to sing or listen. Om. Bowing your thinking mind to your heart. Relaxing your hands down to your knees or your lap, softly blinking your eyes to open. Bring the fingertips down alongside the body. Touch the earth with your fingertips. Rise the crown of the head nice and tall. Let's take an inhale together. Exhale, right ear, right shoulder. Right ear, right shoulder. Option to drape that right arm around to the ear or the temple. And you might stay here reaching down with the fingertips. Or stretch that left arm out to the left, shoulders height or lower. And allow that arm to glide down. It might hover a little bit or it might even touch the earth. And you can play a bit with the rotation of that arm bone. Even play a little bit with the height or make a little circular movement here, just an option. And then as that palm turns down, relax the arm all the way down to the earth. Let's take an inhale together. And as you exhale, glide your chin towards your right armpit. Glide your chin towards your right armpit. This top hand is very light. We'll take a few breaths here. As always, if something doesn't feel right, we change it. You may even find little micro movements of the chin. Settling into a sensation that feels just right. Not too much. Just enough. Let's take the top hand to your left jawline or your left chin, you might use the back of the hand, your choice, and glide that chin over your right shoulder. And then relax that right arm all the way down. Glide the chin back to the armpit, down towards the top of the chest, top of the chest, nice and buoyant here, pause. And then slowly stack the head right over the heart. Let's take a breath together, a nice inhale. And a nice exhale. Root your fingers down. As you inhale, sit up a little bit taller. Second side. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Maybe you stay here, reaching right fingertips to the earth. Option to drape that left arm on the ear or the temple. You might stay or reach that right arm out to the right, shoulders height or lower, and allow the arm to glide down. It might hover, it might touch all the way down. Same choices. You might play a little bit with the rotation of that arm bone. movement or circles, really no right or wrong. I'm curious. And then when you're ready, roll the palm in, allow the arm to relax all the way down towards the earth. Let's take an inhale together. As you exhale, glide your chin towards your left armpit. Top of the chest stays light, top hand stays light. We'll breathe here. Maybe there's some micro movements of the chin. And then settling into sensation. Bringing your top hand to the chin or the jaw, maybe the back of the hand if that feels better. 
and gliding that chin over your left shoulder. Jaw is relaxed. Relax that left arm all the way down. Very slowly glide the chin towards the armpit and towards the lifted sternum bone, top of the chest, pause. And then slowly stack the head right over your heart. Let's lean back. We've been sitting for a while. So stretch the legs forward. Shake out the knees. And then while we're here, sit up a little bit taller. I like the idea of bending the knees. We haven't done anything for the hamstrings. Reach your arms forward. Make soft fist with the hands. Melt the shoulder blades onto your back, sit a little bit taller, and let's circle the wrists and the ankles. And circling in both directions. Good. A little shake here. Let's switch the crossing of the shin to the other shin, probably the non-dominant shin is forward. We'll get a little more into the side body, a little twisting, and then we'll, and then we'll restore. So bring your arms down once again, feel the earth. Bring the crown of the head nice and tall towards the sky. Roll your palms open. And as you inhale, stretch your arms up parallel. You might look up. And as you exhale, lower the arms down, gaze forward, or you might even gaze down a little bit. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, stretch your arms up, look up. And exhale, lower the arms down, gaze forward or gaze down. And this time, inhale, reach your arms up, look up. And as you exhale, lower the arms, gaze straight forward, grow the crown of the head a little bit taller. Just the right arm this time. As you inhale, right arm reaches up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, navel to spine up to go over, a little side bend here. And then roll your top palm forward, gaze forward. Reach up more, so there's a little weight coming out of that bottom arm. Bend your top elbow, support the hand behind the head. Allow the head to gently lean back in the hand. And what would it feel like to lift the elbow up a little bit? Begin to roll your heart a little bit open. And then as you exhale, side bend. You might stretch that top arm nice and long once again. And breathe. And that right buttocks, right sitting bone, nice and heavy. I like to check out my bottom shoulder if it's touching your ear. You might soften it out of the back or walk the fingers out a little bit. One more breath. Nice inhale, nice exhale. Reach your top arm to the sky, gaze forward. On an inhale, reach up, 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 up. And as you exhale, turn to the left. Hands lower down wherever they want to go. Maybe your hands on your knee or your calves or ankles. As you inhale, lifting and lengthening, grow taller. As you exhale, the navel softly hugs your spine, finding your twist. And two more breaths. Inhale, come a little bit out of the twist. Sit up a little taller. And exhale, navel to spine, come in. And one more time. Inhale, sit a little bit taller. Exhale, come in and stay. And stay in the twist. Take an inhale, sit taller. As you exhale, just the gaze unwinds to center. We'll take a little pause there. And take an inhale here. And as you exhale, upper body unwinds. Inhale, draw your heart forward. Exhale, round your back. One more time, inhale, draw your heart forward. Maybe it's small or micro movement. Exhale, round. This time, inhale, sit up nice and tall. Once again, unwind your arms. Roll the palms open. Just one time, inhale, reach your arms up, look up. 
And as you exhale, lower the arms, gaze straight forward through the center of your pupils. And we'll take the second side. So as you inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale up to go over, side bend. And then we'll turn the top palm forward, gaze forward. Reach up more. Good. Bend your top elbow, support behind the head. You might lean back a little bit. You might even lift the elbow up a little bit more. And then what would it feel like to very softly begin to roll your heart to the sky? Take a nice inhale. And as you exhale, bend that bottom elbow, side bend. Maybe that arm reaches nice and long. And that last buttocks heavy to the earth. You might check out your bottom shoulder, keep it soft. You might rock the hand out a little bit. One more breath, a nice inhale. Nice exhale, reach your top arm to the sky, gaze forward. On an inhale, reach up, 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 up. And as you exhale, turn to the right, hands lower wherever they want to go. As you inhale, lifting and lengthening. As you exhale, navel to spine, finding your twist. Two more breaths. Inhale, you might come a little out of the shape, grow taller. And exhale. And one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Staying in the twist, take an inhale here. As you exhale, just the gaze unwinds to center. Nice inhale here. And as you exhale, upper body unwinds. Let's take two rounds of that cat cow. Inhale, draw your heart forward. Exhale, round the spine. One more time, inhale, draw your heart forward. And exhale, round. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Bring your hands behind you. Lean back, stretch your legs forward. Once again, give the knees a little bit of a shake. Good. We'll bend the knees, bring the feet as wide as your sticky mat is wide. Make sure your shoulders are nice and open. The fingers can face back or forward. You, you get to choose. And let's rock the knees very gently from side to side. We are sitting for a while in an external rotation of those femur bones, those thigh bones. So moving a little bit into internal rotation, so the opposite direction. Good. And then lift the knees up, legs forward, shake out anything that needs shaking. If there's any additional movement your body needs, you're welcome to take that. Otherwise, let's set up for our first restorative pose. It is a restorative back bend and a little bit of a hip opener as well. So you'll start with your blocks to the side and your strap reachable. You'll take your pillow or your bolster lengthwise down your mat, lengthwise down your mat. Um, and I want to give the option if you have a lot of allergies or if you're congested, um, you might take a block or a book and support under the bolster. Otherwise, today we'll lay that block nice and flat, but we will add a little support for the head. So you might simply add a pillow or a blanket. I'm going to show you how to make a head nest. So you'll find one blanket if you have a traditional yoga blanket, all the fringe will be on one side. If you have a towel, fold it, you know, the way that you would fold a towel. <laughs> and then you'll lay it flat, take out all the little crinkles, and you'll find the shorter edge, and you'll fold it over about two thirds of the way. So there's about two inches on the bottom and your neck is actually going to be there. And then you'll take the corners and you'll roll them in. You'll roll them in. Now the best part is you'll do a little karate chop in the center, I'm not gonna unroll it, but you can do that little karate chop over and over and over and over again. <laughs> and you'll flip that around and you'll place that pillow support at the back of your mat so your head is cradled in this little nook. 
your neck is right there. And if at any point this doesn't feel good, of course, you could lower it or, or get rid of it if that feels better for you. And you'll sit right against your bolster, have your blocks near the sides of your body. And let's find your strap. Find your strap. If you don't have a strap, don't worry about it. I'll show you another option. If you have a strap, you're going to loop it up. You're going to loop it up. So you have a nice big, a nice, ooh, a nice big loop. You'll bring the, buck, the buckle on the side so it doesn't bother your back or anywhere that feels bony. And you'll bring it around you really nice and low down on your back. I'm actually going to tighten mine a little bit here. So nice and low. Once again, the strap is on a side and you'll bring it around your feet. You'll bring it around your feet. And you want it tight enough that it feels like you're being held here. Now, if you don't have this strap and want another variation, you might take a couple pillows, put them under your knees. And you might take a blanket lengthwise, and roll it and use a blanket to support you here, tops of the feet under the shin. So just an option, I don't wanna rush through that, but just an option if you don't have a strap. It's gonna be a little different. This is a little traction. So make sure it's nice and, and cozy. If this feels too much, unloose, uh, loosen it, slide the feet a little bit forward. Make sure it's really low back on your back. You might take your blocks, squish them in. I like to bring mine at diagonals here, but you can play with that. Make sure they're stable. Hold on to your bolster. If this is new to you, please, please watch for a moment. You'll tap your elbows back, loop the shoulders up back onto your back. Take an inhale, lift your heart, you might look up. And as you exhale, navel towards your spine, roll it down. Once you touch down, you'll pick up the tip of your tailbone and lengthen it a little more forward. Oh, this feels so good for me right now. You might take these blocks and change them. I really like a little support under the legs. Uh, if the blocks are dense, you might swap them for pillows. And make sure the head and neck are really cozy, comfy here. You might squish that blanket roll around the sides of the neck. If you have something to cover your eyes, by, by all means. And allow the arms, if it's comfortable, to drape down towards the earth. If the earth feels far, we might slide blankets underneath the arms and raise the floor up. You might even put blocks under your arms. So really take this time to be absolutely comfortable. And if it's not, of course, we, we change when it needs to be changed. And be here a few minutes together. So really take time to settle in, to snuggle in. If you have additional blankets nearby, you might cover yourself with a blanket. And as the palms roll open, Notice your collarbones. And can you allow the collarbones to broaden a bit? And that might mean you walk your shoulder blades just a little bit closer towards one another. As if they were doors supporting your heart. chin is tipping up towards the ceiling. And draw the chin down a bit towards your sternum bone or the top of your chest. The back of the neck finds a little more length. And the head can really rest here. Jaw is soft. The tongue is relaxed. 
and wide. And allow all the skin of the face to soften even more. to give the option to stay exactly as you are without changing a thing. If you'd like to begin to transition to our second posture, begin to wiggle your fingers a bit. Bringing your hands to your outermost knees and lifting your knees up enough that you can snuggle one foot at a time out of your strap or move your blanket to the side. And it might feel really, really yummy to stretch the legs forward. It might feel really yummy to reach the arms back or to the side. Stretch and yawn. <sighs> You're always welcome to stay right here. Otherwise, very slowly begin to bend your knees. And rolling to rest on your right side, either on, if it feels comfortable, slowly off the bolster. And a bit of a fetal shape here. So using your upper arm as a pillow, a little bit of a counter pose here. Really rest. Pressing your top palm down, bring yourself a little bit forward, come all the way up to sit, and we'll set up for our second and final posture today, Stonehenge. Uh, now, if you're near a wall and you'd like to bring your legs up a wall, by all means. Otherwise, a little bit of a softer variation here. So we'll use all of our props. A chair also works really nicely. I didn't say that earlier. So you'll take two blocks, two blocks or books. I like to bring them nice and tall here. Make sure they're stable. If you have really squishy um, bolsters, uh, pardon me, squishy blocks, you might put them a little bit closer. If you have anything extra to support it with, you might, might play with that. Make sure they're really stable. And we're going to place our pillow right on top. We do call this Stonehenge. Sometimes it topples over. We want to try to make sure it feels really nice and stable. I like using two blankets. Now this might be plenty. I like uh, to take one blanket 
nice and flat or a towel and they'll take the rounded edge and all they're going to do is roll it in one or two times if you're really thin it's a really thin blanket or towel and bring that roll towards you so the back to the knees will actually come over this this little blanket roll if you have that head nest and you liked it you might set that headrest right there for your head uh, you might not want any head support i really like taking one blanket laying it flat fringes away from me and making just a tiny little neck roll here don't don't go crazy don't go crazy you don't want it so high that it juts your chin up um, you might have to squish it down a little bit if you need a little support under your back you might fold a blanket and place it underneath your low back as well and we'll get nice and cozy to our support you'll bring your knees over your support so once again, a chair works really, really nicely as well, putting your legs on a chair seat with a blanket underneath them. Now, I like the knees pretty much right over the hips. Uh, if you wanna add a little more height, if you have more blankets, you might stack another blanket or two so your shins are a little more parallel to the floor. But really what we're looking for is that the legs are a little bit elevated here. Once again, loop the shoulders up, back and onto your back, take an inhale. And as you exhale, lower all the way down. You might scoot your buttocks a little bit closer towards your support. And make sure the head and neck are really nice and comfy here. Really take your time. You never want to rush a good thing. If you have another blanket to cover your body with, well, I really love a couple blankets or a weighted blanket. Yogis always knew that the weight of the blanket is very relaxing, calming. And that's why so many people love weighted blankets. And so maybe you stack a couple, few blankets on your body. And also the body will cool a bit as we relax. So you want to stay nice and cozy. You might cover your eyes with an eye pillow or and if it feels like you're holding or gripping in your legs you might bring the big toes together and just allow the knees to relax apart and we'll bake here a few minutes once again if anything needs to be changed we, we do no rush Allowing the legs to be nice and heavy. And dropping right down into their sockets. And noticing all the musculature of your lower abdomen. And can you soften the musculature a bit more here? through the upper chest. The arms. The throat. You might even take a swallow in the back of the throat. Allowing the eyeballs to soften back into their sockets. And the skin of the forehead to relax down towards the nose and rest.
give the option to stay exactly as you are. You might begin to deepen the breath. Wiggling your fingers and your toes. Circle your wrists and your ankles. And stretch and yawn. Bending your knees. Rolling to rest on a side of your choosing. Two or three breaths. And pressing yourself all the way up to a comfortable, tall seat. Maybe the eyes stay closed. Bringing palms together sweetly at the heart. Reconnecting to your sankalpa three times. And let's sing together the sound of Om one time. First, a breath, take a nice inhale and let it go. <sighs> inhale. thinking mind to your heart, honoring that light within, allowing that light to shine brightly for you and everyone you choose to surround yourself with today and the rest of your week. Lifting your chin and together we say, Namaste.